Hi and welcome to this quick walkthrough video on how to set up eye and head tracking uh, in HunterNet using Iwer Beam and OpenTrack and the OpenTrack extension. So please head over to beam.iwer.tech. Uh, that's our product page where you can click on this button here and create an account and just go through the, the steps indicated. There's a free trial um, of Beam, so just install it. Um, run through the onboarding, go through the calibration process and you'll have the app running here at the bottom. Then once you toggle on gaming extensions, there'll be a link appearing, a guide, a link to a guide appearing that will lead you to this page here where all the steps are detailed on how to set um, Beam up with the gaming extensions with OpenTrack and uh, uh, HunterNet in specific in, in this case. So here, the first step, you just did it. This is the uh, Iwer Beam app being downloaded and installed. The second one is enabling the, those gaming extensions. So basically Beam streaming um, the, the data for third-party apps to be able to using them then open track make sure you download the latest version of open track so that it has the input option iwer beam here um, then also important try to uh, or set up a new uh, config file so that the mapping curves are the default ones so you start from uh, from a clean slate, um, then yeah, changing the input. Step five, we just oh, well, I guess you need to do it again once you create a new file. Step six, assign a keyboard shortcut to the centering method. So this is to recenter your camera, um, but also neutralize the head and eye tracking input when needed so what i noticed is like the suggestion here alt plus n doesn't work for hunter net because n seems to be uh, activating a certain function so maybe choose whatever works best for you i noticed alt plus g works okay at least i have noticed an issue so far um you then can launch your game so basically make sure that the gaming extension is on Put yourself, uh, position yourself uh, in a neutral position in front of the screen. In this case, I'm in front of a laptop and uh, click on start. So now the octopus should move according to your head movements, but also your eye movements to some degree. Um, go to the game. I'll launch it here. And you will see already when it starts, it will uh, start interacting even in this in this main menu. So here you'll see it already, like looking around. Uh, the background will uh, interact with you, but I think here it's a little bit, it's not necessary, but I guess not much to do about it. So I'll start the game. And as soon as you're in it, you'll notice that it's already running. So there's not much more to do. HunterNet seems to take the open track input right away and implement it into uh, head movements and um, like, like gaze movements because of Iowa Beam then. So you'll see it's already working. It's quite okay right off the bat. And as said before, like if you had, have set your shortcut I mean in this case alt plus g it will neutralize the head movements and eye movements so you can go back to a neutral position and just move the ship uh, with your mouse movements now turning it back on you have the gaze and head movements you see that you will notice that by the in the default setting for me at least it felt a little bit too slow uh, for the eye movements like i would like it to be a little bit more reactive so you can go back to 
the beam settings and this is what we're suggesting also in this step here step eight make sure to uh, increase the the sliders or the sensitivities within beam first and then in open track to have the lowest uh, jitteriness like the, the best possible uh, the highest smoothness in game so here as you'll see here in the settings under general uh, and gaming extensions here head tracking output for open track the default is head plus gaze you can start even with just the head uh, head position so like the gaze is turned off if you save it here it will be immediately uh, implemented in the game so now my eye movements are not translated anymore uh, into uh, in-game camera movements it's only the head pose so uh, whatever you do here is immediately implemented as soon as you click on save um, the, and, and yeah like if, if you want to kind of have a faster head movement or like a more reactivity sensitivity towards your head movements just uh, change this um, setting here and the one that worked for me best and even keeping all the the curves exactly as they are in the default setting for open track were was here to set the eye tracking responsiveness to 80. That seems to work for me. I go back into the game and now it's much more reactive to my eye movements. All right, that's that's it. So give it a shot. Um, there's a free trial, so I hope you. You'll enjoy it and and uh, let us know how it works. You can find us on our on our Discord for support if you need any setting it up. And uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you and hopefully supporting the Hunter Net mission more in the future. So thanks for watching.